Designs and today I'm going to be doing the <laughs> the 2018 Holiday Traditions Tag. Um, so yeah, there's 15 questions. I've been tagged by Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast, so thank you very much Terry. Um, I will be tagging um, a couple of people at the end. Um, it won't be that many just because there is a lot of us that do this and <clears throat> it gives a chance for other people to tag other people. And the people that I'm going to tag, if you've already been tagged already, I'm sorry, I am catching up with everyone's videos. Um, since Vlogmas has started, it's just been a bit crazy. Um, also, I'm sorry if you can hear the rain, it's absolutely pouring down. I've had to put the light on because it is just so dark. So, I've got the questions on my phone. Let's get started. <clears throat> when do you start decorating for Christmas? Um, the first year that I moved into this flat I decorated on the 10th of November <laughs> um, just because I was so excited I went and bought a Christmas tree and I wanted it up and it stayed up well after New Year's Day um, <clears throat> so it was up for nearly two months I would say um, but normally um, it's within the first two weeks of December. I don't have a specific date or day or anything. It's just when I can be bothered to go in the loft and get the stuff out, for one. And when I've actually got time to put it up. Normally it is at a weekend um, when Ian's here. But it, it, it does all, all depend. Number two, what style do you decorate in? Um, I don't really have a style. But my tree is red and gold. Um, and then I have red and gold tinsel. Um, I have red and gold tinsel over my mirror, my picture. Um, and then I have some knitted toys and things like that. So, yeah, that, that's my style. <laughs> um, I don't... Me, personally, I'm not a lover of white trees. Um, I prefer the green trees. Um... And I'm not really a lover of the black ones. I, me, I think because I grew up with a green tree, everyone I knew had a green tree. That is just the way that I know a Christmas tree, if that makes any sense. Number three, favourite Christmas tradition with the family. Um, I really like the fact that, because obviously me and Ian are a couple, we alternate what days we go to each other's parents. So one year we'll go to my mum's at Christmas, the next year it'll be his mum's and then my mum's and his mum's. Um, and the rest of the family do that as well. We all sort of go on the same day. Um, <clears throat> I think this year it might be changing. I'm not 100%. Um, but I'm going to my mum's, or we are going to my mum's this year for Christmas Day. Um, and then possibly to his mum's on Boxing Day, or we might be going out for a meal. I'm not 100% sure yet. I know it's sort of December and we should know, but normally we don't sort arrangements out until two, one or two weeks before. Um, that's just the way it is. Um, but normally we do alternate years that we go to um, our parents. And... Plus, it's hopefully, in a good way, <laughs> hopefully, my mum's last Christmas in this country as she is moving and her house is up for sale. Um, so, yeah, it would just be nice to spend the last Christmas that she has here um, at her house and, yeah, that's that. Number four, favourite place to buy Christmas decor. Um, I haven't bought Christmas decorations for years um with this will be our seventh christmas in this flat um and i think i only bought christmas decorations the first two years um obviously i bought my tree i bought the baubles and the tinsel and then that's it really um my favorite place is either panland or um b m which is like a cheap pan stretcher type place we we do have a pan stretcher and we do have um pa yeah pan stretcher i did buy a lot of my baubles from pan stretcher um and they sell things all different prices but it's just like a i can't really explain it's a shop that just sells a bit of everything and cheap basically um 
So yeah. Um, number five, favourite Christmas movie. To be honest, I don't watch a lot of films. Even when Ian sat here watching films, I'm doing something else. I'm not a lover of watching films. But I think my favourite has got to be Home Alone. Who does not like or love a little bit of Home Alone? Um, it is just a brilliant film. I love it. So, Home Alone. Um, six. Eggnog, hot cocoa or apple cider? Um, it would have to be the hot cocoa because I've never had eggnog and apple cider, yeah, but I'd just rather the, the hot cocoa. <laughs> um, seven, do you leave out cookies for Santa and if so, what kind? Um, I don't really know how to answer this one because I don't know who's watching. Um, yes. Um, I'm going to tell you what I did as a child. Um, yes, we used to leave out um, a mince pie, a carrot and a glass of milk for Father Christmas. And then when we woke up in the morning, um, the carrot was half eaten, the mince pie was half eaten and the glass of milk used to be gone. So that is what I used to do when I was little. Um, Eight, real or artificial tree? I've never had a real tree. I don't want a real tree because I believe that they smell. Um, and I think getting it up two flights of stairs or three flights of stairs is not going to be easy. Um, so artificial. I always had artificial and then when my mum moved into the house that she's in now, she started to buy real trees because she had much more room. Um, but me personally, I've always had artificial. Um, nine, favourite holiday dessert? Chocolate cake. <laughs> um, or something with custard. Mmm, I like dessert. I like any dessert. But I do really like my mum's banoffee pie. So mum, if you're watching this, banoffee pie for Christmas Day, please. <laughs> Favourite Christmas cookie? No, I don't do cookies at Christmas. No, that one don't really... is not really re relevant to me, I'm afraid. Um, 11. Do you open gifts on Christmas Eve? Um, when I was little, we used to... Me and my sister, we used to open one present. And I keep going in and out of focus. I am sorry. Um, we used to open one present on Christmas Eve... And I remember vividly opening one present and it was a bra. Now I was only probably about 13 um, and it was a bra. I was so disappointed. My mum went, no, don't open that one, open this one. I was like, no, I want this one, I want this one. And I opened a bra. Now, no, my mum didn't used to buy me clothes for Christmas. and Or she did, but she they used to spend... Um, so much money on us and then just buy a big main present and then loads of little presents um which my mum and dad still do now to be honest but um it was just like a little main stocking filler type thing um and I opened a bra but we do normally open our presents on Christmas morning um <clears throat> so wherever we are we so if we're at my mum's me and Ian will open any presents that we've got and then we'll go to my mum's and open presents or we'll go to his mum's and open presents. And then on Boxing Day, whoever we're going to, we open the presents that morning. Um, so really, it's in the morning and yeah, we just wait for all everybody to be wherever we're going to be. <laughs> like Ian's family or my family and then we start opening presents. Um... Do you decorate your Christmas tree yourself? Yes, because Ian won't. <laughs> um, yeah, he just lets me get on with it, basically. And I enjoy decorating the Christmas tree. The only thing I don't like is putting lights on because I just get in a big tangle. Um, and I try and wrap them quite sparsely at the top. And then when I get to the end, I've got like three or four foot left of light sinking. I should have just put more at the top. <laughs> Um, I start at the top, I, I leave my Christmas tree in the middle sort of, of 
this area um, and I just walk the lights round. Um, so yeah. Anyway, where do you spend Christmas Day? Whoopsie. I've already answered that question. Um, either at Ian's mum's or my mum's. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen when my mum moves. I would think that she might come back for Christmas uh, my sister does have room for her to stay so who knows in future Christmas might be at my sister's um, favorite Christmas smell I think it's got to be cinnamon it really like, um, I don't know whether obviously in this country yes but any other country you have the glade or the airwick smellies and they are like the Christmassy ones. It's um, apple and cinnamon or just things like that. Oh my God. Yeah, love it. Um, number 15, last question. What is your favourite thing to craft or make during the holidays? Um, what's my favourite thing to craft or make? Mm, the last few years I have made like little ornaments. Um, and... I think, I can't remember if I've actually shown you before, I've got a cup of coffee and I've got a new mug, I don't know whether you're going to see it, I flew here on my unicorn, um, it was pink and I just had to have it so I bought this yesterday, um, anyway I'm going to stop rambling, um, what was the question, what, what do I like to make, um, yeah I have made quite a few, um, ornaments and things like that I think once I get my decorations down I will give you a tour of what I've made um, it probably won't be a sit down video like this because once I get the decorations out I like to put them out and then put all the boxes back out in the, up in the loft um, so I'm just checking the focus I think because my hands waving around and the light is a bit funny I don't know um, so yeah I haven't made anything this year just because um, we've got the craft fair um, <clears throat> and I've been making loads for that um, so yeah I'm sorry if you can hear the washing machine I always do that oh well <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go um, my battery light is flashing and I need to do another video so and I've got baby Mikey today so if you are untrue are interested go and watch my or watch my vlog tomorrow which will be Saturday and Mikey will be in it <laughs> um, so yeah that's that thank you for watching um, I am going to tag Ruth um, I don't know if you've been tagged already so I'm not sure and I'm going to tag Kim from Blue Cherub 82 um, yeah, so if you haven't been tagged already, then there you go. If you have, I do apologise. I don't want to tag too many people just because what's the point? And I will tag anyone that wants to do it, basically. Um, I'm not going to name names. And yeah, I've got quite a few left to watch. So if I haven't watched your video yet, I will. <laughs> I'm just slowly going up my uh, subscription list. Um, yeah, I'm really rambling, so thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my Christmas tag video, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye!